Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is octal and decimal conversion. The decimal system is the base ten number system. We use ten digits, zero to nine. We use a subscript ten to identify a decimal, especially when we use different number systems side by side. Each decimal place is a power of ten. For example, seventy-four is seven times ten to the first power plus four times ten to the zero power. The octal or oct for short is the base eight number system. It uses eight digits, zero to seven, and we use subscript eight to identify an octal. Each octal place is a power of eight. For example, the octal number one three two is one times eight to the second power plus three times eight to the first power plus two times eight to the zero power. Let's see two examples. Example one. Convert octal number one twenty six to decimal. First, let's draw a weight table, which we will use in the example. We draw the four column table. Actually, three is enough because we only have three octal digits. If you convert five digit long octal, you need five columns, and if you convert six digit, you need Six columns and so on. Octal is a positional number system. Each position has some powers of eight. We write down one twenty-six under the table, making sure they match their positions. Now let's do it. One times eight to the second power, we get sixty-four. Two times eight to the first power, and we get sixteen. Six times eight to the zero power, and we get six. Now we add them up, and we get eighty-six. Thus, octal number one twenty-six is eighty-six in decimal. Let's see the example two. Convert octal number seven two four six. To decimal. Again, we will draw a weight table, which we will use. We need a four-column table because we will convert a four-digit long octal. We write down seven two four six under the table, making sure they match their positions. Now let's do it. Seven times eight to the third power, which is Five, twelve, and we get three thousand five hundred eighty-four. Two times eight to the second power, which is sixty-four, and we get one hundred twenty-eight. Four times eight to the first power, and we get thirty-two, and six times eight to the zero power, and we get six. Now we add them up, and we get. Three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Thus, the octal seven two four six is three thousand seven hundred fifty in decimal. The method of converting decimal to octal is division by eight. The process involves five steps. Step one. Divide the decimal number by eight. Treat the division as an integer division. Step two, write down the remainder. Step three, divide the result again by eight. Step four, repeat step two and three until the result is zero. Step five, the octal is the digit sequence of the remainders from the last. To first. Now let's see example one. Convert decimal number eighty-six to 
octal. Step 1. Divide the number by 8. The result is 10 and the remainder is 6. And we write down the remainder 6. Step 3. We divide the result 10 by 8 again. The result is 1 and the remainder is 2. And we write down 2. Step 4. We repeat the process by dividing 1 by 8 again. And we get the result of 0 and the remainder is 1. Once the result is 0, we stop. And last step. We write down the remainders from the last to first. Therefore, the decimal number 86 is 126 in octal. Let's see one more example. Convert 256 to octal. Step 1. Divide the 256 by 8. We get Result 32 and the remainder is 0. And we divide 32 by 8 again, we get a 4 and the remainder is 0. And we repeat the process by dividing 4 by 8 again and we get a 0 and the remainder is 4. And once the result is 0, we stop. And last step, we write down the remainders from the last to first. Thus, we get octal number 400. Below this video, I put several questions for practice, so you can try if you like. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.